Hey, this is Tyler from SpectraCal. Today I want to show you how to use Calman RGB to calibrate a MacBook Pro over the network. Before starting, download and install Calman RGB on your Windows machine and install Client 3 on the machine you're trying to calibrate. Connect your meter to the machine running Calman RGB and hang the meter over the display of the remote computer running Client 3. I will now start the monitor advanced workflow. In the target computer information screen, I will select networked computer, Mac as the operating system, and single as the monitor. I will now connect to client three on our MacBook Pro as our target display type. I will select SpectraCal, as a manufacturer and model, we will select Client 3 Display Profiler. I will select the machine name in the drop down window. I will select Connect. Now we will connect to Client 3 on our target machine as the pattern source. Once again, we'll select SpectraCal as the manufacturer and Client 3 as the model. I will now find the meter. I will select Search. I will select LCD LED as the display type. Since this machine is mostly used for video production, I will select BT1886 as the gamma target and D65 as the white point. Now I will run the pre-calibration capture to test what the display is like before calibration. Right now is reading the grayscale and gamma. Now it will read the color gamut. Our grayscale average error was 2.98 delta E and the color checker average was 3.26. Now that the pre-calibration capture is complete, we can now go on to the actual calibration. Since the target machine is a Mac and it has a built-in display, it doesn't actually have contrast controls. So we're just going to verify that it's not clipping the signal. This is exactly what we want to see. If there would be clipping 
the lines would go up and then plateau off before they hit 100%. So this is what we want to see. This measures the luminance of the display. Currently, it's putting out 85 foot Lamberts. You would adjust the brightness during your actual content production, but since this is a laptop that goes in a lot of different environments, you don't need to focus too much on this. Once again, since this has a built-in display which doesn't actually have any like controls to adjust the white point, two point, white balance adjustment, this is just showing us what, what the current state of the display is. The calibration will actually happen in a further step down the line. Some displays, external monitors, have these controls and you should try to get these close before going to the full calibration. Now we're to the part where we will calibrate the grayscale and gamma and write a 1D LUT to the video card of the actual machine. Now we've calibrated the grayscale and gamma in only 1 minute and 20 seconds. We will now generate an ICC profile that will be loaded by Client 3 into the operating system. One advantage that OS X on the Mac has is that ICC profiles are a system-wide thing. So no matter what program you're using, it will always be calibrated. You want to select the same amount of points that you did in your grayscale calibration. Now, the ICC profile has been created. Now we will do a post-calibration capture so we can compare to what it was before the calibration. I will hit the Read Series button.
as you can see, we have a very even grayscale and a much more accurate color checker. The color checker delta E average before was 3.26 and post calibration it's 0.93. The grayscale error before was 2.98 delta E and the post was 0.88. This is the visual verification screen where you can see before and after for both the grayscale and gamma and the color checker section. This is the end of the workflow. So now you can go on and calibrate another machine or an, say an external monitor on your current target machine. As you can see, calibrating a secondary machine is a very simple and straightforward process if you use Calman RGB. It can also be used to calibrate a large number of machines in a facility in a very streamlined way.